So today we're going to be doing, as you all see, I'm mostly better. Mostly. I was at work today, even though I was off. And one of my coworkers heard me talking and she was like, he has his voice back. I got my voice back. Anyway, for the most part. Anyway, so today we're going to cover something and I want to make this real quick. I want to make this in under five minutes. Okay. Because you're going to TikTok and YouTube. And I want to keep both platforms entertained. So here we go. And today, we're going to go over a very special company. Now, I've only spent one day with this one. So I need more time. But the results on day one were already good. So I'll come back as I spend more time with it. I'm going to wear it for a few days. Test it out. I'm actually sending some of this out tomorrow to a friend of mine. And I'm going to ship it to him. And he's going to try it out too. So here we go. This is Sensual Obsessions the King. Okay. Owned by a guy named Kevin. This is a clone of Aventus Batch 13ZZ01. <clears throat> it opens up with the Bergamot. Okay. You get you get a little bit of the there's like a sort of a sweetness to it. Not much. If you've ever smelled Aventus, you understand kinda it's like a citrusy sweetness. It's not like a cloying, overly sweet fragrance. Kind of a citrusy fr fragrance. Got a little bit of birch. Um, whenever I get this bergamot in here, and I get the pineapple, but a lot of times companies will use bergamot to mimic pineapple. Because with these, with these fruits, you can't extract pineapple oil, bergamot oil. They are notes. They're... they're Compilate or uh, they're basically <clears throat> things that are put together to mimic the scent of. So I get more bergamot. I kind of get the pineappleness. Pineappleness. That's not a word. Um, I do get the the uh, the uh, birch or smokiness, whatever it is. I, I believe it's birch. Um, but I get a little bit of smokiness in here. Smells like birch to me. Um, light, sweet, citrusy, long lasting. Okay, I gotta tell you, I sprayed this on about probably eleven thirty. I was supposed to be off of work, and I got called in to do some overtime, and I it was probably about four thirty five o'clock. Um, as I'm a approaching the end of the overtime because I got called in at 2.30 and did to do four hours of overtime today. <clears throat> and I walk in front of the door. The door is open. Get a little bit of a wind. And it disappeared from me for a minute and came back as I'm moving around. Catch a whiff. And it's still there. It's a performer. Um, it was probably still on my skin by the time I took a shower. But I had to take a shower. I got a doctor's appointment early in the morning. And I'm going to go Use this again tomorrow for the doctor's office. It's going to be my scent of the day again tomorrow. Probably my scent of the day for a few days. Maybe except for Wednesday because I work in dairy and I want to, you know. And this ain't going to be five minutes, by the way. Um, and I want to make sure that, because it's cold. I'm going to see what I can do, but I might not wear it in the cold. I don't know. Anyway, so. In the realm of clones or inspired by fragrances i like to try to compare them to other ones to see who did it best now i have a couple that are <clears throat> they have the dna but they're not that great and there's no but no point in in putting them in this video i don't wear them out i don't wear them to work i don't wear them to do anything i wear them around the house when i'm not doing anything <clears throat> and that's that that's just what i do with them this if I'm comparing this, this, uh, this, uh, the King by Central Obsessions, by the way, that's, I believe, 30 bucks. So it's a dollar per milliliter. You would think that's high price for a clone, but it's actually not. It's pretty good stuff. If I'm comparing it to anything, I'm comparing it mostly to Alexandria's Brasilia Privé. Uh, these are very, very similar. And as you can see, I like this DNA. Okay. 
<clears throat> that's going to be about 30 bucks, the Privé one too. Now, this is a 50 mil or 55 mil as opposed to a, a 30 mil that you're going to get from Central Obsessions. But the, the plus side is Central, Obsession, Central Obsessions is run by a man named Kevin. Kevin's a one-man crew. This is a small business. A lot more attention to detail. Um, there, I saw a floaty in here, I think. I don't know, it could just be on the bottle, you know, so I'm being honest. But the performance and the quality of the fragrance is great. You want something maybe a little bit cheaper, or a lot cheaper when you look at the size of the bottle. It's sort of like Cremos, Bergamot, and Musk. Um, this one, though. Is a little more smoky, a little less bergamot in here. Um, performance is about the same, but if you want something that's kind of a better mix between fruity and smoky, Central Obsessions is the way to go. Uh, you want something quick to pick up at Walmart, you're going to have bergamot and musk. I'm going to recommend, depending on the situation, probably Central Obsessions. This is going to be a little bit more if you get a 100 mil bottle. This is going to be Mont Blanc Explorer. Definitely super heavy on the bergamot. Don't really get any birch in here. Don't get any smokiness. I like the Aventus with the smokiness. I don't like the super fruity Aventus. So I'm going to say the choice is between that and Mont Blanc Explorer. Go ahead and get you some Mont Blanc Explorer. And... Zara, Vibrant Leather Renewed. Honestly, not in this conversation. This is by far the, the least performing, least um, birchy, woody kind of one here. And I think this was about 40 bucks. So I say all that to say this. You want something cheap, go to the Walmart and get the Cremo one. If you want something cheap that you can go pick up. As far as anything you have to order, so the bottle may be smaller, so the price per mil is a little is a little more expensive. I prefer the King of Kings over this. I prefer all of them over this one. I prefer the King of Kings over this. And you can see I've used this a lot. I've worn this one a lot. If I somehow run out of Aventus DNA stuff, as you can see, I, I'm not going to. But I even have more back there. But they're not even worth bringing to show put on camera. I would get this at Walmart. These two are the closest. And these two are the ones... That I would imagine these are both ZZO1 clones. Central Obsessions did it better. Um, as you can see, I've got plenty of experience with this DNA. I wore most of this. I bought this used and it was probably like right here. Like right there. I wore this. Plenty of experience with this. I'm going with this bad boy. I think for the price you're going to pay, the customer service you get, the quality, and if you like the smokier batches, I think this is the way to go. I'll probably, down the road, do like sort of an event this, especially if I get my hands on this decant that I'm trying to get my hands on, this event is uh, like a video of all of them that I have. Probably don't bother watching it. Probably no. This is where I'm going to recommend you to go. And I've had real Aventus before, but I'm getting, I'm trying to get my hand on this decant <clears throat> so that I can compare one to one. Y'all get my thoughts on it, but I think Central Obsessions is the way to go. Link in the description later.